Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel Imrama Tarot. My name is Dipali. I'm a tarot card reader. I'm also a Reiki healer, a crystal healer and a manifestation coach. Let's start with your reading guys. So this is for the new moon which is on 19th May in the sign of Taurus this time. Also it's a general reading so please take what resonates and leave what does not. You do not have to forcefully fit anything in your life here. <coughs> Let's see what the universe has for Scorpio. New Moon and Taurus, 19th May. First quarter Moon in Leo, be humble. Hmm. Okay. So, um, Scorpio, here I feel the universe is talking about um, you being considerate of other people's feeling. I feel um, you are um, you are not rude with other people, but you think that people around you are not that smart enough and uh, they they are not that experienced and uh, because of that you are um, you always tend to be a little too straightforward i feel while conveying your message or while uh, giving a particular instruction so here universe is asking you to please start being humble okay you have to release your habit of not uh, considering other people's feeling and your habit of being too straightforward to the point where it gets a little disrespectful okay also i can feel uh, here that there is certain kind of blockage in your sacral chakra okay yes so maybe um maybe uh, you have this insecurity uh, that you do not look good or maybe because of your body type i'm not sure but there is some kind of insecurity that you're going through because of which there is a major blockage in your sacral chakra okay you um, when it comes to getting physically intimate physically involved with someone you are very blocked uh, maybe it is that or e either that or it's a blockage in your reproductive system irrespective of your gender guys there is a, a major blockage in your reproductive system so please get yourself checked for PCOD for for your uh, for your private parts for your reproductive system whatever it is but uh, yes Scorpio New Moon Taurus. Scorpio New Moon Taurus 19th May. Full Moon in Pisces. Forgive. Scorpio, I feel in the past uh, something uh, had happened because of which you are very, um, when it comes to getting physically involved with someone, you you have put restrictions on yourself and you, you tend to put a lot of restrictions on yourself. Um, you do not get physically involved with someone at all uh, it is something that gives you anxiety and your universe is asking you to please let go of that baggage to release that block to to just get rid of the past traumas okay whatever happened in the past just forgive Forgive the person, forgive the situation, forgive the universe, forgive yourself for whatever happened or for being too naive at that point in time. Um, but yeah, you need to forgive and move on. There is a major release that universe is asking you to do regarding, um, regarding forgiveness. Forgiveness and letting go and moving on. Major, major release. There is a full moon in Pisces, guys. <coughs> yes. Scorpio, New Moon, Taurus. Scorpio, New Moon, and Taurus. First quarter, Moon and Sagittarius. Believe in your good luck. Uh, Scorpio, I feel here. Um, maybe things have not been like the universe, and you know, like people around you, they have not been that good with you and that is why you have you have lost all um, like your belief system has become something of that sort that uh, you know no one else will help you out there is no universe there is no god 
and no one else will help you out only you can help yourself very true <laughs> it is very true no one else will will be able to help you out and if you think there is no creator and you know like no angels guides spirit guides that is also fine everyone should have their own belief system but you do not even believe that there is there is you know there is something like luck and um, I feel you you think only only hard work counts and luck and destiny does not count which is <clears throat> again it's your belief system so I can't comment on that but uh, here universe is asking you to please uh, not be that rigid when it comes to your belief system you are very extreme you are very extreme either you believe in something or you not believe in something and here you do not believe in these things and that is why there is a blockage in your crown chakra as well guys there is a major blockage in your crown chakra you do not believe in good luck you do not believe in destiny i am not trying to change your belief system here but try to be a little more uh, flexible try to read about these things try to um, you know J just be open uh, towards this this universe thing and destiny and good luck because good luck works guys it it does work only hard work will never ever only hard work will never ever take you anywhere you need to have a mix of opportunities plus luck plus hard work plus smart work for you to be successful okay so good luck plays a very very important role um and yes universe is asking you to to not start believing but to release this extreme um, thought process to release the rigidity that you have okay just release the rigidity rest things will keep on happening on its own scorpio moon taurus scorpio moon taurus 19th may first quarter moon in cancer push through any insecurity scorpio i feel um we already have a blockage in sacral chakra we have a blockage in crown chakra we have a blockage in third eye chakra as well <clears throat> i feel you are dealing with a lot of insecurities guys you are dealing with a lot of insecurities and um i feel these insecurities are related to your your looks and your body type because somehow i feel um yes these insecurities are related to your looks and body type um you try to cover these insecurities by pretending to be very um by pretending to not uh, be involved in things which include destiny and universe and creative and you know like uh, a creator existence of a creator or chakras you don't believe in it because you think that will make you uh, you know like stand out of the crowd that will make you a little different from the rest of the people and that is how you will be able to be different be unique you want to be unique you don't want uh, to to blend in the crowd in fact the crowd and you won't be able to because you are insecure yes and that is why you have chosen this path of not believing in destiny and everything because you feel that that's a way to stand out that's a way to to portray yourself as um, as something you know like like a unique thing okay universe here is asking you to please get rid of these insecurities guys these insecurities are uh, not doing anything good to you they are blocking your other chakras see what happens is when when our third eye chakra is blocked no and see your crown is blocked your third eye is blocked your sacral is blocked blocked okay so automatically your solar plexus and your heart they will get affected if not now then maybe few months a few years down the line they will also get blocked 
your root chakra was, will also get blocked. So eventually, these are the main seven chakras on the basis of which a human being functions. Okay. Please get rid of these insecurities. And I feel this insecurity is related to your looks. Scorpio, Taurus, Moon, Nineteenth, May. Scorpio, Taurus, Moon, Nineteenth, May. New Moon in Aries, go for it. Scorpio, uh, universe is asking you to please get rid of these insecurities, blockages, baggages. Uh, you know past traumas whatever these things are just get rid of them so that you can start feeling a little you know like light you are you are carrying the burden of your past the baggage and universe wants you to lighten up a little so that you can go for other new beginnings like there is a new beginning coming your way there is a new thing that is coming your way uh, there is a new moon so um maybe a new beginning related to a job or like a project but or maybe like a relocation it could be a small thing it could be a big thing but some new opportunities coming towards you but before that universe wants you to at least if not work on this thing but at least identify that these are the things that you need to work on if not now then maybe 10 months down the line i will start but then you haven't even accepted that you need to work on yourself you haven't even identified the points that you need to work on because you think that you are fine and you think these chakras and good luck and you know like working and healing and all these things are rubbish and bullshit identify what you need to work on identify your blockages identify your past traumas identify whatever you are right now like the kind of person you are why are you like that there must be some shortcomings there must be some things that you need to work on why are you like this why don't you believe in good luck why don't you believe in destiny get rid of these insecurities and just go for whatever is coming your way okay just go for it but just declutter a little detoxify your body okay so uh, yes that is all that i have for you scorpio please let me know if you liked it in case you did hit the like button comment share also if you like how i do my work how if you resonate with my readings please subscribe to my channel imrama tarot and i'm trying to build my channel here so you can support me in whichever way possible whatever is convenient for you guys in the form of subscription donation whatever you feel right okay so yeah, that's all. Be kind. Stay happy. See you next time. Bye.